Danny Johnson. 98% of the population will end up dead or dead broke, broke by the age of 65. Danny Johnson. The question I have for you, is that how you want to be? Is that the life that you want? Well, if you look at what everybody else is doing and you live the way they are, then that's what you're going to have. Why live under the burden of death? I say look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Danny Johnson. Well, welcome to the Sunday night. Starting your week off right with the Danny Johnson Show. I'm so glad that you have chosen to sit down with us on this Sunday night. And I hope that you enjoy the show so much that you decide to come back next Sunday night. Oh, wait, there's a little hip in the middle of the week. Wednesday night, we also have a spiritual equipping broadcast where we get into some deep biblical uh, issues as well as how to live out your life and succeed wildly in the marketplace with your family. Um, and that happens every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. But tonight, hey, you know what we're going to talk about, right? Come on. You getting ready for Turkey Day or are you getting ready to shop? Which one are you? This really is uh, mind boggling to me. It, it truly is. I mean, think about it. I remember when there were no Christmas lights until after Thanksgiving. Now, literally, the people got rid of their Halloween stuff and up went the Christmas lights. It's almost as though year after year, Thanksgiving is kind of getting like skipped over. I don't quite understand why that is. Is it because we have a huge amount of people, millions upon millions of people that are on antidepressants and people are just not thankful? They're not grateful? Or is it that shopping and getting something for half off, you know, of course, after they mark the price half up, is it that shopping is so much more exciting than spending an evening meal with family or extended family or friends having a feast celebrating, I don't know, Thanksgiving, celebrating, uh, gee, something that's actually really phenomenal. But today we happen to live in a culture, in a world that actually is putting shopping above the gratitude position which i think is kind of sad hi my name is danny johnson prior to being on tv and radio i actually uh in fact we're coming up right now literally right this very time this very season right after thanksgiving 23 years ago i was a homeless woman yeah and that was after growing up in a violently abusive home with parents who were drug infested every kind of abuse emotional mental physical verbal sexual abuse Holidays were not that fun, especially when I was a little girl being molested in a back bedroom at my aunt's house. Uh, not to mention, after being beaten in the morning by my father, let's just say that the childhood that I had was not full of roses. It wasn't Disneyland. It was horrific. It would be more like, you know, Friday the 13th, you know, with whatever the guy with the ski mask thing is. I don't know. Anyway, so it wasn't a great set of circumstances when I was growing up. So holidays were painful. They weren't exciting. They weren't fun. And if we actually had in the early years over at my grandmother's house, she ended up throwing plates and cursing at my father in a different language and sometimes the language we can all understand. But anyway, I don't know what you're expecting to have happen uh, for your Thanksgiving, but I know that we're anticipating a joyous experience without Black Friday impeding on that very thing. So back to the story. 23 years ago, I was a homeless woman, started a business from the trunk of my car in a payphone booth, and within two years became a millionaire for the first time. By the time I was 23, I had made my first million. Today, multi-millionaire, best-selling author, mother of five kids, five grandkids we just had our fifth grandbaby two weeks ago so exciting his name is anthem hosea isn't that the most rad name ever anthem means a song a hymn of praise and loyalty and then hosea means salvation anyway so uh mother of five grandmother of five my husband and I have been working together for a really, really long time. We both are passionate about helping the orphan, the widow, the sick. We believe in making money boldly in the marketplace and bringing it to our king. We believe in helping the elderly. We believe in helping the orphan, freeing kids out of the sex trade, as well as the work that we actually do to earn a solid living, no matter what the economy is, is helping people like you succeed wildly. Whether you want to succeed financially, 
I became a millionaire in two years. I can show you how to do the same thing. If that doesn't matter to you, you just need to make a little bit more to make ends meet, or you just want to annihilate your debt and be completely debt free in the next five to seven years, or you want to learn how to, I don't know, manage your time a little bit better so you're not running around like a chicken with your head cut off, like your hair standing up on ends and you're going absolutely crazy between the teens, the toddlers and the coworkers and the neighbors. Whoa, watch out. That's a whole nother deal. And don't forget the dysfunctional toxic family. Let's add that into the mix. <laughs> oh, we live in a day and age where, you know, dysfunction is the new norm. Toxic relationships seem to be the new norm. And every single Sunday night, we focus on a different topic for you to be able to start your week off right. For us, I mean, we are all starting our week off too with one single focus that we can improve our life on a weekly basis with. Sometimes we talk about money. Sometimes we talk about family. Sometimes we talk about people. Sometimes we talk about work. Sometimes we talk about politics, depending on what's going on in the world. Um, but I guarantee you every Sunday you are going to join a group of people that care about moving their lives forward instead of just another stick in the mud, instead of your life being from the day you were born to the day you died, meaning the dates separated by a dash, your life needs to mean something. It needs to mean something. You're here for a purpose. You were designed in your mother's womb for a purpose. There is a destiny on your life, and that is why it is important for you to set yourself apart different do things different, act different, speak different than what everybody else is doing because 98% of the population is going to end up dead or dead broke at the age of 65 depending on their family, friends, and federal government for their main source of income. Most people when they die wish they had done this, wish they had done that, wish they had done this and that and this and that, and they end up doing none of it. Living a life filled with unsatisfactions instead of learning how to be content and happy and having a good life. And even when you go through trials and earthquakes and tsunamis and disasters in your life, which you will go through, instead of staying there, how can you be surrounded not only by a loving God, but a loving community of people to help you walk through hard challenges in your life so that you can come out stronger on the other side. So essentially every single Sunday as well as Wednesday right here on the same station that you're listening to this on right now if you're listening to one of the 102 radio stations or Sirius XM channel 131 or 67 million homes via television shocking anyway uh on biz tv or ua network um thank you so much for joining us and dannyjohnson.com you might be streaming this live on your computer right this very minute so i hope you are ready well to make some changes because right now you're in one of a couple of different places okay you're going to go to work tomorrow you might have been work today and at the same time you're trying to figure out the hustle and bustle of what thanksgiving the meal are you hosting the party we host the party every single thanksgiving and a small party will be about 20 25 people a larger party is about 60 people for thanksgiving <laughs> we're doing a smaller one this year <laughs> i'm going to keep the germs away from the baby uh anyway uh because anthem's going to be there so excited um, but anyway either way that you're either going to work tomorrow and you're, you're navigating the grocery shopping with the preparations of the meal assigning the guests who's gonna bring what you know what are you guys gonna drink you know what what's the favorite family traditional meal that you're gonna pass down uh, that day you're gonna get yourself really bloated you're gonna eat twice that day yeah anyway or you're dreading this thing yeah you're, you're quite possibly dreading this. And why? Because you're probably going to see some people you don't want to see. Right? Right? Oh, come on. Especially if it's family. Because if you're going to have family there, you know, your brother who might be the guy that likes to prove that he's better than you, he's done it to you your entire life, he might be at the table. What about the arguer? Oh, yes, the guy that loves to argue with you no matter what. You say that, hey, it's getting dark at 6 o'clock, and he says, nope, it's getting dark at 6.03. You know, the one that is constantly arguing with you. You say it's black, he says it's white. Okay? Okay, don't forget the know-it-all that might be at the table. <laughs> what about the one that is constantly one-upping you? Yes, there's all kinds of great people that are going to show up to the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> so you might be one that is dreading it, or you may have plans to be alone. Either way, I want to make sure that we start our week off right 
with the right mindset that sets us apart in this crazy world filled with all kinds of toxic dynamics that are going on, whether you've got the leave it to beaver family, we don't, or you've got the toxic dysfunctional family, that's where we come from. Uh, that's especially where I come from. <laughs> well, either way, you got work, you got a little break in the week, you got all kinds of mindsets that you're going to be managing this week. I hope and pray that tonight's show is going to encourage you. It's going to edify you. You're going to learn great strategies. I want to hear what your traditions are. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about ours. And we're going to make sure that we are going to have the best Thanksgiving we have ever had. Why? On purpose. Because there's a whole lot of people out there that are trading in Thanksgiving for shopping. I say, no, we're going to pause. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to try on the garments of gratitude and Thanksgiving. We're going to do it different than maybe we did it in years past. We'll continue with more with Danny Johnson right after this. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. Why don't you groom your kids for success? What's the option? Letting your daughter hang out with 'er ne'er-do-wells and eventually bringing you a grandchild with a pierced navel? Don't get a grandbaby with a pierced navel. Listen to Danny Johnson. It'll turn things around. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Hey, uh, are you going to be out shopping on Thanksgiving Day? Uh, According to Time Magazine, one third of all of the holiday shoppers, sorry, half of the holiday shoppers are going to be showing up for Black Friday, which I'm going to give you my opinion about that. Um, And I'd love to hear your opinion about that. But a third of those are actually going to be shopping on Thursday. Yes, Thanksgiving Day. What is up with our culture? Who are we? Who are we? Based on the size of most of us, you would think we wouldn't skip a meal, but we care more about shopping than we do about being around the table, celebrating a historical yearly event that takes us back a couple hundred years, reminding us of the people who made sacrifices to get over to this land. And we're just skipping right over the gratitude thing. We're skipping right over the history thing. We are skipping right over, hello, what kind of character in the people that, that, that came here who left everything. Come on, think about it. You, you imagine you're leaving your business. You're leaving your land. You're leaving your home. You're leaving everything that you own all for perhaps, for perhaps a better opportunity for your future generations. They sacrificed everything, everything to come here. And Thanksgiving is a celebration of that as well as other things. And yet we're just going to go, up. who really cares about that? There's a really good sale going on. So I'm going to have a beef to pick with not only the people that are shopping, but I also have a beef to pick with the merchants who have fabricated. They have fabricated. The marketers have fabricated this day. Black Friday, I do not remember this existing when I was a kid. I don't even remember it existing 20 years ago. I don't. I don't remember any part of it. Were there people that went shopping the day after Thanksgiving? I'm sure there was, but uh, it wasn't us. So, yeah. What will you be doing on Thanksgiving? And first of all, have you thought for just one moment for just one second to pause and think about what you truly are thankful for? Do you know that gratitude, I mean, studies have proven this, that gratitude itself changes your very state of mind. It actually will give you like an impartation of faith. 
It actually will promote optimism. It can release endorphins in your mind. It gives you a better feeling of well-being. It actually makes you hopeful about your future. You know, I suffered from depression years and years and years ago uh, for a long time. In fact, I had suicidal thoughts since I was six years old. It was the first time that I tried to commit suicide. So so that, that's a heavy, heavy, heavy mindset on a, on a kid. And so anyway, I, I understand the power of gratitude. I also understand the power of depression and oppression and suppression. That is an evil, evil voice and spirit that speaks to people every single day and shopping does not make it go away. It doesn't. But being grateful does. Conditioning yourself for being grateful does. So I'm going to share with you, you know what? My Aunt Marie is watching this broadcast right now. Yep. And she's at our house. And she's been with us for almost a month so far. And I hope she never leaves. My Aunt Marie is a precious mother in my life. And I am so so grateful that God brought this woman into my life. When I was pregnant with Micah 14 years ago, almost 50, actually 15 years ago, I was bedridden for four months. She came, she left her home, which was three hours away, and she came and she served our family. Cooked every day, helped with laundry, helped with the other, you know, I had an 18 month old at the time and then a four and a half year old and a seven year old at the time. Here she was serving our family day and night, day and night with a beautiful smile, precious, incredible cooked meal. She's a gorgeous Italian woman who cooks these gorgeous Italian meals just completely precious and this was not somebody I was close to when I was a kid. In fact, I was terrified of her when I was a kid, but yet Man, something changed in her, by the way, when she came to know Christ. And wow, the service that has come out of her for our family and the love, not to mention the blankets, the hats, the scarves, the sweaters, the dresses that she has crocheted. I don't love my Aunt Marie just because of what she gives to us. I love her because she loves and she loves well. And out of her love, she loves to serve and she loves to make things with her hands. So who are you grateful for? My Aunt Marie, I'm so grateful for. I've cried many tears talking to my Aunt Marie. We've cried together many times. And she has filled a void. God has used my Aunt Marie to fill a void in my life um, where somebody else maybe should have been but chose not to be. Um, But anyway, do you have somebody in your life that really, really has made such a difference in your life that matters to you, that loves you no matter if you're down or if you're up? Someone that doesn't judge you? Someone would, that would never let a wicked word out of their mouth about you? I got one of those. Her name is Aunt Marie. My number is 888-340-3373. I would love to hear about what you're thankful for. Or are you not thankful for anything? Is it hard for you to be thankful? I want you to rack your brain right now. And use this opportunity for your voice to be heard. You could even call if you're going to get in on the on the phone, or if you're watching this on television. Um, if you can call me, call that person that you love, and they will hear your voice live tonight on this show. I want you to share why they mean so much to you, how they've impacted your life. Yeah, my number again is eight eight eight. Three four zero thirty three seventy three. Again, that's eight 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 three four zero thirty three seventy three. You know, we live in a world filled with people who are so bitter all the time, people who are so resentful, man, so quick to judge that if you've got a rare one in your life that you know is in your corner, no matter what. No matter what, even if you screw up and months go by and you don't even have a conversation with that person, you know that you know that you know that they're with you, they are for you, that they're praying for you, that they love you no matter what, that they even extend and and help other people just because they love you. Call me right now and talk to me about someone that you are so very thankful for. Is it God? Is it your church? Are you thankful for your health? Are you thankful for the food that gets to be put on your table? Are you thankful for your job, your boss, your neighbor? 
Again, that number is 888-340-3373. And I encourage you to call them right now and say, please, I want you to listen in on this. You can send them to dannyjohnson.com. They can listen streaming live. They can actually watch it. It's actually the TV show is actually being uh, broadcasted right on uh, dannyjohnson.com. Okay. If they're in your local area and you're listening to this on the radio, have them say, please, please go to the phone right now. I mean, say, please, please, please go and, and, and turn on the radio to this thing. Uh, so it's either by the Internet or by by the car or the radio. They can listen. But let this be an opportunity for you to publicly thank, for them to hear your voice and the gratitude exuding out of your heart about what you're grateful for. Could be your wife. Could be your kids. Could be somebody. 888-340-3373. Don't be shy. It's good for your heart to express what you're grateful for. 888-340-3373. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue after this. I'm so blessed that I found what is in Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This is a book that is being taught in universities around the world. It's been noted as the best book on parenting that has ever been written. Crazy, if you ask me. But the point is, is that this thing gets results. Get your copy today, 888-757-8880. Again, that's 888-757-8880. Or go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. Get your copy today. There's just so much that she's done to help people. To help their children face the next generation with success. To declare war on things that tear families apart. And to look people straight in the eye and to tell them how much they mean to her. There is no one else. Like this lady right here. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Boycott Black Friday. Yes, I am saying that. Boycott Black Friday. Do not be like the 98 percenters. Come on. 98% of the population ends up dead or dead broke at the age of 65, depending on their family, friends, and federal government for their main source of income. If you want to succeed financially, all you have to do is look at the opposite of what everyone else is doing. Look at what everyone else is doing and do the opposite. Everybody else is going to be out there shopping for deals. They're, they they are going to be trampling over children and the elderly. People die on Black Friday all to get a deal. I mean, if if there isn't a, a, a better picture of absolute greed, absolute greed, absolute dishonor, absolute disrespect, a frenzy for stuff. This is disgusting. People standing in line to get deals. There's no peace in that. There's no contentment in that. I'm telling you, friend, do not be like everybody else. You got to ask yourself a question. If there is, you have to ask yourself, what is in me that much rather skip over Thanksgiving and just think about the deals I'm going to get? It's almost as though Thanksgiving is a speed bump for Black Friday. No, it is not. That needs to be the most celebrated holiday that we have. Yes, it should be. I know you're not. No, ah, Danny, what about Christmas? Don't even get me going about Christmas. You don't even want to know what I think about Christmas. First of all, Jesus wasn't even born in December. Figure that one out. It's so overmarketed. Everything is disgusting to me with what marketing and greed has done to take away powerful, meaningful times in our life when we should be focusing on something that helps us to be better people instead of worse people, greedier people. Ugh, it's disgusting. I want us to talk about that. And I want to know, are you so focused on Black Friday that you can't even think about who you are thankful for, what you are thankful for? Years ago, I started this uh, thing called what we call a Sprouts Journal. It's a grateful journal, a thankful journal. I had a client who would come to me, this is all the way back in 2005, and she had some man that was pursuing her, and his wife was pursuing her. The two of them were telling her that she was supposed to be his next wife. He already had two wives, and believed that God told them that this woman, my client, was supposed to be the third wife, and she was married to someone else. And this was her second marriage already. 
and she was distraught about it. Danny, I, I don't know, is God telling me to, to be this man's third wife? Meaning there are three wives in the house at the same time, not three divorces, three wives. And I didn't get into any kind of a doctoral conversation there. I just said, well, honey, what were your complaints about your first husband? And are they the same complaints that you have as about the second husband? I guarantee you, you're going to have a whole lot more being someone's third wife than you ever would just having one man. Here's what I want you to do. Every night before you go to bed, I want you to make a list of what you are thankful for and what you love about your husband. I want you to write at least five things down. What you are grateful for. What you love about him. And then the first thing in the morning, I want you to do the same exact thing. Do you know what happened? She did this. A year later, she comes to me. She was still doing it. It saved their marriage. It saved their marriage. So often we can live with somebody that we were passionately in love with so much so that we give our bodies to that person and all of a sudden we fall out of love. No, we get a wrong attitude put in by somebody from somewhere or even from our stupid past and we forget about what captivated us that many years ago. Well, then I saw her two and three years later and guess what? She was still writing that journal. And deeply and madly in love, she says, we are like teenagers today. We can't keep our hands off of each other. Danny, thank you so much. I didn't do anything. That was God that saved your marriage. Simply by what? Focusing on what you want more of. You see, what you feed will flourish. What you neglect will die. And if you're not thankful, then you open the door to depression. You open the door to complaining and murmuring grumbling you open the door to frustration oppression suppression it is not that difficult to be happy and content it's simply the door that opens the vault to blessing is gratitude there's a vault up in heaven yeah with every ounce of blessing that you could ever need or want is in it and gratitude is the combination that unlocks that vault I want you to call me and tell me what you're thankful for. You see the number on the screen? Here's the number, 888-340-3373. 888-340-3373. We'll continue right after this. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. So politicians are all like, let me be clear, and I'll give you something you've never gotten anywhere else before. How's that working for you? You know what? She's tired of that mess. How about this? You listen to her. She brings you hope. You make the change. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Are you one of them grumbling, complaining brats that people don't like to be around? <laughs> We all have been at least once or twice or a thousand times in our life, but I certainly hope that you're not gonna choose to stay that way. Listen, we're coming into the week of thankfulness, the week of thanksgiving, the week of gratitude. I want you to wear this sucker with everything you've got. Literally, if you just focus on that which is good, pure, praiseworthy, noble, you're gonna feel better about who you are and you'll be able to see things that other people can't see and you'll be able to see things that you did not see before. There's something that happens when you invite gratitude into your heart. There really is. That's what we're talking about tonight. What are you thankful for? 
let's start a frenzy, a fire of gratitude right here on the airwaves with the Danny Johnson Show. The phone number is 888-340-3373. Again, that's 888-340-3373. We've got line three, Josephine from Yonkers, New York, listening on 970 AM. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. I'm thankful that the Lord accepted me as his child, um, that I have will have eternal life, and uh, my name written in Lamb's Book of Life. I thankful for my children, grandchildren, with our blessings. I thankful for the food, the clothing, the beautiful apartment the Lord has given me, the righteous people He's brought in my life. I thank Him for everything. I thank Him for the disability I caused myself. Now I can count it all joy. I look at disability another way because you can't speak about something unless you've been there. And thank you <laughs> for this program. Yes. Oh, Josephine, thank you so much for listening and thanks for calling in. I got to, you know, you're tipping me on something. Today at church, uh, this morning, uh, I encountered, because you mentioned disability and you mentored the Lord, so I have to go here. Right at church, right in front of myself and my Aunt Marie and our son Roman, um, there was a woman in a wheelchair facing everybody else that's, you know, sitting. And there was a deaf man. So here's a woman in a wheelchair who is signing you know, doing sign language, interpreting the worship part of the service to the man that was deaf. It just broke me. It absolutely broke me because Josephine, that woman interpreted her disability as something completely different than what other people who have a similar disability. She does not see it as a disability. She counts it all joy because she has the opportunity to worship with sign language, leading somebody who is deaf that does not have the the ability to hear that beautiful music or there's gorgeous voices he doesn't have that ability but she is translating that experience to him and I thought to myself would that be me if I was in a wheelchair would I be volunteering at a church doing sign language and signing a worship service to a man that is deaf that can only see the excitement in the room they cannot hear it. And man, he was dancing. How beautiful. So Josephine, I celebrate you and every other person that is out there. My sister-in-law, Karen, who's had uh, reverse, I mean, has had uh, juvenile onset rheumatoid arthritis since she was 12 years old. She had her, her shoulder replaced at 12 years old. This woman is a walking miracle. Daily she deals with this pain of this arthritis. She has given birth to three babies. She is like every other mother out there and yet does not allow her disability to stop her from being a loving, encouraging mom who's homeschooling and raising up and training up her kids in the way that they should go. So I celebrate those with those disabilities who do not see them as something to stop them, but look for another way to count it all joy and to use their life for something great. Thanks so much for the call, Josephine. Line one, I've got Diane from Media, Pennsylvania, listening from DannyJohnson.com. Danny, um, uh, what an awesome show. Um, wanted to thank you for uh, coming out of retirement when it, whenever it was that you came out of retirement, maybe about 10 years ago, um, and for helping me and my family become aware of um, children that were actually, you know, sold into the sex trade because I had no idea that existed. And I want to, yeah. I'm thankful that my husband started running marathons and had a desire to um, raise money from running yeah. uh, and, and give it away. Um, and I want to thank about 100 people that stepped up that um, they either crawled, they walked, or they ran in the San Antonio Marathon that you talked about last Sunday um, with uh, Raven, Michelle, uh, and uh, Mary Howard. Uh, they drug their bodies from the race to, to do the live show with you. Um, and I, I just want to thank you for bringing so much fun into our lives. I mean, fun isn't really fun yet. It's, it's just, you know... Uh, it's getting fun. It, it, I'm sorry. Fun is fun because um, just imagining the children's faces that are being freed from the sex trade. Um, yes. I want to thank Jennifer Ratchford and Alyssa Williams for Jennifer Ratchford uh, helped us last Christmas in Belize 
um, yeah. be introduced to orphans, real live orphans that yeah. live in a little itty bitty house with Miss Leone, and it just blew my mind. Like all these kids were like uh, in this little tiny house, 83 of them, and this year they're going to be yeah. moving into um, a new home in Belize. But yeah. we were ignorant to that. So I, I want to thank you, Danny Johnson, for coming out of retirement and helping people like me and my family become aware of what's going on in the world that we were just oblivious to. So we we love you. We appreciate you. Um, and we're very grateful for um, how you've opened up our eyes where we were. Uh, they were really closed. Very, very thankful, very grateful. Diane, um, I think we're both thankful to the same God that we serve, that uh, he has stirred a great number of people um, through the DannyJohnson.com website and, and through King's Ransom and, you know, just all the different workers. I mean, that San Antonio race, uh, the 50 runners that were our clients, listeners and viewers of the show and clients from our business that ran and raised $330,000, which was more than the other 30,000 runners raised combined. The 30,000 runners raised 220,000. Our DannyJohnson.com clients raised 331,000. That's because of good hearts, good people, standing for justice, standing for what's right, using their life to benefit the lives of others, using their influence to do good in the world. Come on, man. I'm so thankful for you, Diane, and everybody else that participated. We'll continue with more after this. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead-end place where this gentleman found himself but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. No matter where she goes on this planet, she finds people of all stripes. Emeralds, rubies, sapphires, pearls. She's made it a point to teach success better than anyone else in America. So welcome to the international headquarters of your new future. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. So, instead of going and getting suckered into Black Friday... Why don't you think about doing something rare? Set yourself apart from everybody else. The masses of cows, moo, going in, thinking they're getting a deal. They're gonna buy a bunch of junk that they forgot they bought. It's up in the attic. They're gonna be back at the store 30 days from now buying for the same people that they bought the day after Thanksgiving. It's a disgusting thing. Black Friday, it's a joke. All you're doing is helping all the wrong people get richer. It's time for you to keep some of that money. Quit buying things from people that need nothing. Instead, do what we have done for years. Get out of this whole Christmas nonsense and mess. Instead, tell your family that you're going to do something different. Yeah. Invite them to do it with you. Invite them to, in fact, do it on, on Thanksgiving Day. Give this proposal. Hey, instead of all of us buying stuff for each other that we need nothing, why don't we take the money and put it towards kids who are really are in need? Put it towards families that are really are in need. Instead of us getting more junk that ends up at the next garage sale, let's take half of that money and put it towards feeding people in this local area or, come on, it only costs $92 to feed a kid for an entire year. For a whole year, $92, there, are, there is a child that has no mother and no father. That's a tragedy. That's horrifying.
terrifying. And yet you could keep that child alive for one whole year. Think about at the family table this Thanksgiving, how many people will be there and say, please don't get me or my family anything. We want to feed orphans instead. Here's the number of where you can find out how you can take care of orphans for $92 a whole year to feed them. 888-242-0069 or go to kingsransom.org. Again, that's kingsransom.org. 888-242-0069. Right now, there's a donor that said that we can raise $25,000 in the next couple of weeks, they will match the $25,000. So if you put forward to help one kid, there's two kids that are going to be fed for an entire year on your behalf. $25,000. 100% of the money goes straight to the food for these kids instead of what? Another gimmick, another gadget, another pair of jeans that people don't need? Instead of another DVD? Instead of another book that no one's going to read? Instead of another coffee mug? Come on, think about it. Instead of chocolate? Instead of more stuff to make us all fat? Let's feed a kid and keep somebody alive. Kingsransom.org. Kingsransom.org. Go there now and do the right thing. We'll continue with more of the Danny Johnson Show right after this. I remember being homeless and broke and broken in every way and being overloaded with financial pressure, the pressure that I was a failure, the social pressure, everything that I felt like was crashing down on top of me. And at the same time, I felt so alone until I learned the strategies of first steps to success. You have the chance, my friend, to annihilate all of your debt. Think about that. You have the chance to grow your income through your current career or even learning to start a brand new business that will be profitable. You also have the chance for learning how to motivate the people that are in your life that are driving you crazy and how to have significant breakthrough, not only spiritually, but physically, financially, and socially, and business-wise. And so I'm excited to see you at First Steps to Success. It's coming up January 17th through the 19th. Get yourself registered today, 888-757-8880. There's a seat with your name on it, friend. 888-757-8880. Danny Johnson. 98% of the population will end up dead or dead broke, broke by the age of 65. Danny Johnson. The question I have for you, is that how you want to be? Is that the life that you want? Well, if you look at what everybody else is doing and you live the way they are, then that's what you're going to have. Why live Why under, under the burden of death? I say look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Danny Johnson. Hey, welcome. This is hour two of the Danny Johnson Show every Sunday night, 9 to 11 Eastern. We're starting your week off right, and my week off right, by you and I getting together to just position our minds towards one thing that we can focus on for this next week to help us become better as people, better as workers, better as community people, better as, well, whatever it is that you are, son, daughter, mother, child, well, that son or daughter. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So this week, obviously, is leading into Thanksgiving. No, not Black Friday. I am a boycotter of Black Friday. I think it's ridiculous. I think it is strategic to get your money out of your pocket. I think it's even bigger than strategic about money. I think it's about turning your focus on stuff instead of on family. If there has ever been a time or a year ever in history, it is now that we need as a nation, as a people, as a body even of believers, to put our focus on family instead of gadgets, electronics, instead of junk and stuff, and instead of, 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 of things that are just going to disappear. That which is lasting, relationships, is where our focus needs to be. And every year, we're getting worse and worse. And for our, for our family, we've never participated with Black Friday. We never will participate with Black Friday as far as whoever's living in our house. We won't go there. We will not do that. Uh, we will not be in, uh, ushered in with the, with the cows, the, the masses, the moo. Here they go, trampling over each other, running for the feedlot. Many of those people are going to buy stuff that they forgot that they bought, and they'll be out buying more stuff again. All for what? A deal? Really? Are we really that low? Have we really become that ridiculous 
that we could be so manipulated into trampling over elderly, over children, over fighting over items, not even looking at the price, just grabbing and running and going. Is that who we are? You've seen those disgusting videos. I know you have. But I'm telling you, I am pro-Thanksgiving. It's my absolute favorite holiday out of all of them. Yes, even more so than Christmas. Christmas is another one of those that really upsets me. If you know the history of it, you'd be upset about it too. We'll probably do a show on it. Um, Jesus was not born in December. Uh, yeah, anyway. But we have this time of Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for what God did for me by sending his son on the cross. I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for our clients. I'm, I'm thankful that our bodies are functioning, that every day I can use uh, different parts of my body and, and, and use them functionally, that my body does what it's supposed to do each and every day. I mean, what was the last time you got thankful for the fact that you could actually use the bathroom? Because it's when you can't use the bathroom is when your body's hurting and yeah, things could be dying and things could be bad. And well, you know, we seem to only be grateful after we've lost something. Isn't that sad? Well, I'm a big promoter in this. Gratitude opens the vault to the blessing, big giant vaults of blessing up in the heavens. I totally believe that. I've seen it happen so many times in my life. I've seen it happen so many times in my clients' lives. I've seen it happen in my family's lives. That what you focus on is what you get good at. So what are you going to focus on this week? Black Friday and checking out the sales? Are you going to focus on creating a meal and an environment of gratitude and love and people enjoying one another? I know there's going to be people maybe at your Thanksgiving table that you don't want to be around. People who are gossiping about you. People you've gossiped about. People have hurt you in the past. Maybe your old bully is going to be there. Who knows? Maybe an ex-spouse is going to be there. Who knows? All I know is... That you got to have the right attitude going into this, and you got to focus on what you want, not focus on what you don't want. You really, really want to begin now, because if you bring this this season of gra of gratitude into your office tomorrow, at work, into the home, it's going to get contagious. Versus the stress of shopping, versus the stress and the chaos of deals and sales, but instead, instead, turn your mind to a mind of gratitude, writing things down that you're grateful for, thankful for at the office, thankful for at home, thankful for about yourself, thankful about your church, thankful about your community. Begin to focus on those things and you'll see that it will produce something really beautiful inside of you. My phone number is 888-340-3373. That's 888-340-3373. I would like to know from the bottom of your heart, what are you thankful for? Or are you one of those you have a really hard time being thankful? When you train yourself to be thankful, you know what happens to you? It builds your faith. It does. Builds your confidence. It's a shot in the arm of confidence. It is. It builds vision. It makes you feel better physically. It could chase disease right out of your body. And I'm not joking and I'm not exaggerating. I've seen it happen with my own eyes. Line two, I've got James from San Lorenzo, California. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here with you. Yeah, thanks for being here. So I'm very grateful, very thankful for an opportunity. I have the opportunity mm -hmm. to be a client. I have an opportunity to have a wife that has a strong self-image. And that opened mm -hmm. up a door for me to go to a woman's shelter. I went in to sell a router. They didn't need a router. I stopped and prayed, and I wound up going back as a volunteer to work with 20 sexually traumatized women each week. I teach them goals. Wow. I teach them Bible. I teach them gems. I have a license to teach gems, and they are eating it up. Wow. You bring wow. amazing technology to people, and they are getting it. Wow. Wow. I got to I got to pause for one second. James, do you know that what you just said about your wife? I got to I got to read this. I actually have this printed out. Um, first Peter three, seven says husbands in the same way, be considerate uh, as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you, the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers. You just honored your wife right here on the airwaves, number one. Number two, you spoke to her self-image and saying that she's got a strong self-image. And it's the, the facts are true because here she has blessed you 
God has answered your prayers because you're honoring and respecting your wife. She has blessed you to go help these women. And God provided materials for you that are changing these women's lives. I love that you're teaching them gems. Gems, by the way, if you just joined us, is a, it's a personality program that teaches you how to speak the four different personality languages they are, how to discover who they are, how you figure your own self out and all your own weaknesses and strengths and how to overcome those things. So, um, James, what a man you are. You're a real man. You're a humble man. You're a man that God is using to bring healing to these women who have been traumatized. I know how those women feel. It's awful and painful. And so to have an honorable, respectful man who loves and honors and respects his wife, who represents the Most High God, what an awesome thing. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for men like you that are not afraid to honor and respect their wives. I'm thankful for you that you pray, that you seek God. I'm thankful for you that you're helping in your community. I am thankful for you that you have learned these materials on the website, dannyjohnson.com. You're not keeping them for yourself. You're not even profiting for yourself, but you're using them to profit the lives of others. There needs to be more men out there just like you, James. Thank you so much for setting that awesome example and what you're doing to help these poor hurting women. I once was one like that. And I'm grateful, absolutely grateful. And from Clover, South Carolina, listening from the radio, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hello, Ann, are you there? Oh, maybe Hello. Ann has muted. There you are. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm thankful for the fact that my both my parents are deceased. My mom just passed away. Uh, in August, uh, but I'm thankful for coming from a large family that my parents, my dad was a physician and my mom mm. uh, was a stay-at-home mom raising seven children, but uh, we had on Thanksgiving, it was a tradition, we had uh, fresh fruit cut up mm. over rainbow sherbet, and <laughs> then we had the turkey and we had a mushroom thermidor, we had chopped coleslaw, we had coleslaw, mm -hmm. we had uh, sweet potatoes, and then we had the nice presentation of the good china, and the good china was only mm -hmm. brought out for Thanksgiving, you know, or Christmas, wow. uh, but, yep. uh, and we had our grandparents, and you don't mm -hmm. see that much today anymore. I know, um, I know, you really so don't. So we had homemade really, pies, really don't. we learned we learned how to make homemade pie crust, and nobody yes. has the time really anymore to show you. Uh, it's all about rush and work, and yeah. we never yes. went Black Friday uh, shopping in our mm. family. It, was, it didn't exist in your day. It didn't even no. exist at that time. I love what you said, Anna, and I'm very thankful for you pointing out the things you remember as a child learning to make those pies, all the area of all the food and the specialty dinnerware, all that stuff sticks to our minds and, it, and it's part of what our roots are and things that we're grateful for. Those were the memories, those were the good old days. And today, if we don't protect those days, they're gonna be disappearing like this. People are being robbed. We gotta, we gotta fix that. Thanks for the call, Ann. This is Danny Johnson, we'll continue after this. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. So you still think you can't get ahead in life because the economy is so stinking rotten while you're, you're plopping, plopping down, down four bucks for that latte? latte? What's your problem, man? Get with the get program. With the program. It's, it's called DannyJohnson.com. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. Yeah, people rushing. Rushing now through that once was glorious Thanksgiving meal feast, man. An absolute feast. I want you to think about when you were a child 
What was your most favorite thing about Thanksgiving? What were some of the family traditions that you had? I don't know if you realize this, but the family traditions are going away. Do you know how scary that is? Do you know how empires took over other countries, whether it was small countries like a Jamaica or the Bahamas? They would take away their language. They would change their history. They would take away even their history. The Bohemian kids no longer learning about their Bohemian heritage, but they were learning about British history instead. And then they started to have them dress like a Brit instead of being the Bohemians that they were. Same with Jamaica. I feel like the same thing is kind of happening right now. I really do. I'm really alarmed. The last caller we just had, Anna, I, I really am. I'm a bit taken when she was explaining, you know, when we were a kid, we had the coleslaw, we had the fresh fruit chopped over the rainbow sherbet, and, and uh, we learned how to make pie crusts, and we made homemade pies. How many people today know how to make homemade pies anymore? I do. I'll be making my, my $114,000 cheesecake this uh, Thanksgiving. I'll be making three of them. Um, my cheesecake last year uh, raised $114,000 in just a few hours. One piece sold for $16,000, and this was to help finish the home in Belize for our orphans to get them out of the small little very unsafe home that they were living in and put them in a safer home. And we did. We raised enough money uh, to be able to put the roof on. We finished the home. It's done. We're moving the kids in in December. But I want you to think about this. What are the traditions that you grew up with that have, that have been lost? You know, look, she, Anna was talking about the China that came out twice a year. I didn't grow up with China, but I don't have special dishes that I'll be serving Thanksgiving on. Is it necessary? I don't know, but that's one of the things that people remember. It set that dinner apart. It's kind of sad. Call me right now. Tell me what some of those family traditions were that are no longer or that you still have that you've managed to maintain. We have got to keep our family traditions. We do. It's part of who we are. It's part of, it's part of where we came from. And if we're not careful, the merchants, the marketers, people in high places are figuring out how to invade your family tradition and to make it totally disappear with something called Black Friday. That now merchants are open on Thursday. They're now open on Thanksgiving. So now what's the new tradition? Can't wait to go shopping. Really? Gosh. 888-340-3373 is my number. Again, that's 888-340-3373. 3373. Before I take my next caller, I want to tell you about a friend of mine who also believes in family traditions. He also believes in our families being stable no matter what is going on in the economy. He's America's He's America's financial doctor. He's been a good friend uh, to my husband and myself. My husband actually met him back in 2006. His name is Dr. Kirk Elliott. Don't let the doctor scare you away. He's America's financial doctor. He put together a financial uh, program that normally retails for $279. He's making it available for free tonight for you absolutely free it's a five-part dvd series it's going to teach you how to protect you and your family's finances he has helped our family and thousands of our clients for years before we ever talked about him on radio he has an awesome track record he's a family man and he serves the most high god he's a man we trust with talking to you about and that we talk to our kids about our kids do business with this man get a hold of his program it's normally $279, absolutely free to you right now. How? 866-211-8986. Again, that's 866-211-8986. Or go to americasfinancialdoctor.com. Again, that's americasfinancialdoctor.com. Or text on your smartphone. Kirk, K-I-R-K to 33938. Again, that's Kirk, K-I-R-K, to 33938. Get this program for you and your family. Okay, I'm going over line three. We've got Jim from Greensboro, North Carolina, listening on AM 830. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to listen to your show and to talk with you. I've, uh, I don't listen to radio too much Sunday evenings, but I tuned in tonight, and I'm very, very glad that I did. I don't have anything to say about traditions or anything like that, but I do want to say I really appreciate what I heard tonight, and I'm going to be telling others to tune in to your show. Mm -hmm. God bless you and much success with the program that you have. 
Jim, thank you so much. I want to hear what is it that blessed you tonight? What is it that you heard that makes you want to tell other people about tonight's program? Well, you know, your sentiment about the Black Friday and shopping on Thanksgiving Day, it echoes yeah. uh, my feelings. And really, really, I'm just so happy that you have the venue, you have a means of putting that out there where people really can capture the real spirit of Thanksgiving like it once yes. was. Yes, yes. Joy, right? Being grateful, loving on family, being able to recognize that we have these kinds of provisions available to us, right? Look at how we've been luxuriously provided for, that we can have a feast and stop and think about what others have sacrificed, right? Your parents made sacrifices into yes, your life. My parents made sacrifices. Our grandparents made sacrifices. All of, all of the people that came before us made sacrifices. And we will quickly forget about all of that if we don't stop at least once a year and think about it, talk about it, and celebrate it. I agree with you, Jim. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm really grateful to have you here, and I appreciate those encouraging words. And I hope to hear your voice again. Bless you, sure you will. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, too. Uh, speaking of which, um, I've got two more callers that are on hold. I'll get to them uh, in just a minute. I wanted to offer this again. I am grateful for all who are, have chosen to listen. If you're watching this at the website, dannyjohnson.com, on television, or listening on the radio, I really would love to extend from us to you, from my family to yours, we'd love to give you a free gift. It's our latest book, First Steps to Wealth. It's my story of how I went from homeless to millions, now giving millions away, taking care of those who can't take care of themselves, as well as helping people to succeed, get out of debt, to live rightly and differently with their families and, and, and restoring tradition back to this great nation and other nations around the world. Actually, not being like a herd of cows, like the majority of our population today, who's just moving without thinking. But instead, we got to think and we got to make appropriate actions that are good, noble, and pure and praiseworthy. That book is First Steps to Wealth, a wealth of relationships, a wealth of generations standing for what's right instead of what's wrong. You can get that book by dialing 866-760-8255. Again, that's 866-760-8255, or go to the website, dannyjohnson.com. It's in the right-hand corner. You'll see it right at the top of the page. God bless you. Get that book right now for yourself and your family. We'll continue right after this. You want to succeed, right? But you do not want to fail God at the same time. There is a way to succeed from a biblical perspective. And it's far greater than anything you could ever imagine. Over 500 scriptures I studied to study money, everything that the Bible said about money. That's in the first couple chapters of Spirit Driven Success. Not to mention leadership, working with people, growing a career, being used mightily in the marketplace, which is where Abraham, God used him in the marketplace. And Joseph, God used him in the marketplace. Moses, God used him in the marketplace. Daniel, Solomon, Really, all of the greats of faith, most of the greats of faith throughout the Bible, they all were in the marketplace. And God wants to show you how you can be used mightily by him in the marketplace. Right here, Spirit Driven Success is where all of my notes are on how you can do that. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Spirit Driven Success today. Why don't you groom your kids for success? What's the option? What's the option? Letting your daughter hang out with ne'er-do-wells and eventually bringing you a grandchild with a pierced navel? Don't get a don't grandbaby get a grand with a pierced with navel. navel. Listen to Danny Johnson. It'll turn It'll things turn around. around. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. And don't you dare leave Thanksgiving early to go shopping. And don't you dare even start a single conversation about what you're going to buy the next day. Enjoy November. 
Enjoy Thanksgiving. And, by the way, happy Hanukkah to the rest of you. Hanukkah starts on Wednesday night at sundown. This time goes through Thanksgiving all the way into the following week. So for all of our brothers and sisters of Israel, there's going to be a huge celebration all over the place by millions and millions and millions of our, our Israeli brothers and sisters who are going to be celebrating Hanukkah. And our family actually will be celebrating Hanukkah for the very first time also. And so will everybody else that's at our house that day. So anyway, it's a long story. We'll talk about it another time. Anyway, what are you thankful for? Listen, I cannot tell you how important it is for you to keep a thankful journal, for you to keep it at your bed in the morning and at night, writing down what you're thankful for. In fact, I'm getting convicted myself. I need to do that again myself. It's part of how I got myself out of being a homeless woman. We can become so negative. We can be focused on complaining. We can be focused on murmuring and, and, and being uh, carrying grudges and resentful and, and bitter that we lose all hope. It does. That's what happens to us. We've got to train our brains to be champions. And one of the ways to train your brain to be a champion is to be focusing on what you're thankful for. Yes, gratitude opens the vault to blessing. It does. So what are you thankful for? Eight, eight, eight. Three four zero thirty three seventy three. Again, that number is eight 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 three four zero thirty three seventy three. What you thankful for? Or do you want to talk about a family tradition that your family did every Thanksgiving that maybe has been lost that you would like to rebirth again, or that your family has continued and why is it special to you? We are becoming a culture that is losing all of our traditions. And do you know, that's how entire nations are taken over. Do you realize that? Whenever certain empires were dominating the world, the way they would strip away the nation first was would be taking away their culture. Then they would take away their history. They would take away their language. They'd make them dress different. And then all of a sudden, that British Empire now is in the Caribbean. And those Caribbean people no longer have their normal culture anymore. They now are a different version of Britain. Our culture is being invaded. It is. And it's, it is happening right here for Thanksgiving. And you better protect or even start a new tradition for your family. You see, my growing up, Thanksgiving was just, you know, the same five people sitting around the table ending in a big fight, which is a big old fat turkey in the middle of the table. That's all it was. Still, everyone went to bed early, all that stuff. When I got out of the house, it was like, nope. One of the first things I changed is I made my house open to everybody, every orphan, anybody that didn't have a place to eat, you come to my house. There were times I couldn't even afford it, but I don't care. I'd rather not eat and feed other people than, than to eat myself. I made my life and my, my, my home a home to be open to other people, to be feeding people, loving on people, and being a family to those who did not have a family. That's one of our traditions. What's one of yours? I've got Heidi for, on line two from Michigan. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thanks, Danny. Um, thanks for your show tonight. Um, so mine isn't going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, so much um, tradition, although we do have traditional Thanksgiving as something that we are just very, very grateful for, um, mm -hmm. this Thanksgiving. Um, almost a month ago, um, this coming Thursday, actually, on Thanksgiving, it will be a month that my husband lost his job. Um, he's been in the same industry for 40 years and um, driving to a client, and his boss called him, and him and 35 others were let go that day. It was, you're done mm. today. Um, and um, he came home, and uh, we had um, we had a few meltdowns, um, but then we quickly picked ourselves up um, from just things that we've learned from you, Danny, from things that, that, you know, we've learned from God's Word, and just began to yes. really speak powerfully over our situation and just say, you know, <laughs> God knew this. He knew it was happening. We've got to believe that he um, that he's got our backs on this. And um, yes, it's been almost a month, and my husband, within a week of that, um, was introduced to a home business. And obviously, through the skill that he's learned and will continue to learn through you, he is now um, beginning that totally different thing that he's been used to. And um, this yeah. week, um, I was. Um, 
offered a job this summer um, with the rep agency, and I refused it. I Hold on one second. Yep. Hold on one second, Heidi. This is crazy. We have to be able to hear the rest of the story. That music means we got to go to a break. We'll continue with more with Heidi and the rest of the story right after this. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. There's just so much that she's done to help people, to help their children face the next generation with success, to declare war on things that tear families apart, and to look people straight in the eye and to tell them how much they mean to her. There is no one else like this lady right here. And now, back. To the Danny Johnson Show. Don't be afraid to be a two percenter this Thanksgiving by saying no to Black Friday. I'm serious. You need to cling to those family traditions. And if you don't have one, start one. Yes, I started ours. I did. We didn't have any good many family traditions other than a turkey in the middle of a table still ending in the same fights everyone's still going to bed early there was no tradition in that but hey i'm telling you you my friend have got to protect traditions or start traditions because it helps to enrich the family big time and the family tradition cannot be sent around shopping for junk serious junk Okay, I had Heidi on the line from Michigan that was sharing that a month ago her husband lost his job after 40 years. (gasps) Scary. He has found now a new source of income. And Heidi, you were just beginning to tell us that something happened to you as well. Um, Yeah, it was um, pretty awesome. Um, This this past week, um, I had thought about a rep agency that actually, I'm a rep in the gift um, gift industry, um, and an mm-hmm. agency actually um, asked me to work for them in July, and I um, gratefully refused um, at that time. Um, we didn't need another job. My husband's job was secure. And um, But Thursday at 4 o'clock, for whatever reason, I got out his business card, and I called him, and um, he said, oh, my gosh, your timing couldn't have been more perfect. He said, our rep is leaving in December. Um, I have two other people I'm interviewing, but um, I will let you know tomorrow I'm making my decision. And we talked quite a bit, and um, I'm thinking, okay, Lord, you know, we'll see how this plays out. Um, But Friday at 5 o'clock, just 24 hours after I had called him, he called me back and offered me the position. And that's like nothing short of of God, you know, and his grace yes. and his mercy and, yes. you know, I believe just digging in and, you know, I can honestly say that now it's like we're beginning to be grateful about what happened because it has just yes. created a faith in us and in yes. God that we just, um, we, you know, we just really had to dig in and um, he's yes. re- it's, it's been such a blessing. Um, we've, we've seen blessing already in what Ken is doing now. And, you know, in, in this, too. So it's, um, wow, what the enemy meant for, you know, maybe evil, God is just turning it around. And, um, and it's, we're, we're grateful. We're absolutely, absolutely grateful. That's so awesome, Heidi. Um, hugs and kisses to you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving. It'll be a rejoicing day uh, for sure. Look what the Lord has done. He is faithful and he is good. Even when we're not, even when we stress out, even when we fret, we freak out. He still always comes through, which is so awesome. Thanks so much for sharing. I appreciate you so very much. Line one, I've got Stephanie from Harrisburg, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Welcome to the show. Hi, Danny. How are you? Awesome. Um, I just wanted to call and say what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for um, my grandmother. Um, when my when I was really young and my parents divorced, we actually lived with my grandparents for a year, and 
my grandma's house has always been a place where there's been a lot of stability and a lot of love. And my grandma is a prayer warrior, and she prays every day um, for all of her grandkids and all of our family. And she is amazing. And when my grandma prays, like, God really moves. Um, So she's just an amazing woman, and we love her so much. Wow. Now, I have a question for you. Stephanie, have you said those words to your grandma? Um, You know, it's probably been a long time since I said that to her. I wrote, like, a paper about her in high school, but I probably need to say that stuff to her again. Stephanie, please, as soon as you're done with me, pick up the phone and call her and tell her everything you just told me. Because my hope and my prayer, you inspired me. My hope and prayer is that my grandchildren would think of me in that very same way that you just spoke of your grandmother. That she's a prayer warrior, that her home had stability, that that she was the glue in the family. There was always a lot of love there. That means so much to me and it inspires me and i know it inspires other people but most importantly your grandmother needs to be honored and blessed Mm -hmm. by what you just said because oftentimes those who are prayer warriors are the ones who are always forgotten so make sure and you call Mm -hmm. granny right now right now hang up with me goodbye (laughs) Thank you for calling, and you tell her everything you just shared. Hello, the show is in 60 million homes, 102 radio stations. Hello, 25 million Sirius XM. <laughs> People can listen to it on Sirius XM. Let her know that she was honored tonight. Paulette from Houston, Texas, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We've got one minute left before the next break, so go for it, girl. I'm honored. I just want to say that I'm grateful that the God that I serve loved me enough to to let me go through a testing to understand what complaining can do. And now that I've gone through that, now I understand at 58 years old what gratefulness truly means, and I am so grateful right now that I'm getting a second <laughs> chance, a second, third, fourth chance, whatever chance this is, <laughs> to live righteously before him and keep complaining and, and, and negative things out of my mouth. It had to happen on the inside before I could show my fruit on the outside. And I'm great. Yes. I'm grateful for yes. that. Yes. Yes. I hear it in your voice. <laughs> I absolutely hear it, man. That just gets me so excited. You have no idea. Girl, that's how I ended up homeless. I ended up a homeless woman because of my complaining negative mouth, yes. always oh, speaking Lord, yes. death. And I became a homeless woman because yes. of it. I learned my lesson. Lord have mercy. I know exactly what you feel. But gratitude opens up the vault to blessing. And we got to be gracious to other people and grateful to other people and thankful to everybody that is around us. Thankful to our spouses. Thankful to our kids. Thankful, thankful, thankful to the person that just checked our bags at the grocery store. Thankful for all of our opportunity. Thankful to our bosses and our co-workers. Thankful, thankful, thankful. And that honors and it blesses God. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Call now, 888-757-8880. I'm going to send you our report on how to feed your family on $100 a week. Get this hot thing in your hand now, and you can begin to save hundreds of dollars just on your food bill. No clipping coupons. No way. I'm talking about simple little things that still even my position, I'm still able to feed my family on $100 a week or less. You are going to learn how to do the same thing. 888-757-8880. Call now. Get your copy of this report. So politicians are all alike. Let me be clear, and I'll give you something you've never gotten anywhere else before. How's that working for you? You know what? She's tired of that mess. How about this? You listen to her. She brings you hope. You make the change. And now, back to the Danny Johnson Show. There I was shortly after Thanksgiving. It could have been a couple days later, and I started making my Christmas list. 
And I started feeling this just heavy, heavy sadness that came into my soul. I sat there, I looked at the list and I thought to myself, who on this list needs anything? And then the pressure started coming on of like, gosh, the pressure of how do I get the right gift for each one of these people? The list was enormous. I was purchasing at that time in my life 300 gifts every single year for people who needed absolutely nothing. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous and stupid, but that was back in the days when here I had become a millionaire. I blew all that first million, made another, blew it all, just kept blowing money. It kept just going through my fingers like crazy. And I never took care of anybody that was in need until about 16 years ago. I got convicted when I looked at that list and thought, man, nobody needs anything. And it wasn't even a bad economy. It was a great economy. But this came to my mind. Let's secretly bless others who are in need. I gathered most of the people that were on that list and I said, hey, what if we just don't go and blow money on each other? Please don't buy anything for my family because we don't need anything. Wow, we live in this house. We have these cars. I mean, we, we need nothing. Our house is full of stuff. Please don't buy us anything. But I would ask that instead you would, whatever you were going to spend on the Christmas budget for our family, take that money and let's help people who are in need. Let's be a secret blessing to someone else who is hungry, who doesn't have clothes, who doesn't even have water. Let's help somebody else that's in need. Well, me and a few friends gathered 1500 bucks and we took care of some people who were in need and it was awesome. We've been doing it ever since. We no longer celebrate Christmas like everybody else does. We're not afraid to be different than the masses. We're not ashamed of taking care of people who are in need on a monthly basis. And yes, especially during this holiday season. If you don't know someone to help, I do. I know thousands who need your help. Sit around the Thanksgiving table this year and propose this. Let's be a secret blessing to some kids who might not live if we go by on Black Friday. Go to kingsransom.org. There is a program and a project that we're working on. It only costs $92 to keep a kid alive for a whole year. $92. You know that that is more than what's on your Christmas budget right now. Think about all the money you'll be spending on going to the holiday parties. Why don't you instead rally an army to go to kingsransom.org and do the right thing. God bless you. Have a great night. Happy Thanksgiving. I remember being homeless and broke and broken in every way and being overloaded with financial pressure, the pressure that I was a failure, the social pressure, everything that I felt like was crashing down on top of me. And at the same time, I felt so alone until I learned the strategies of first steps to success. You have the chance, my friend, to annihilate all of your debt. Think about that. You have the chance to grow your income through your current career or even learning to start a brand new business that will be profitable. You also have the chance for learning how to motivate the people that are in your life that are driving you crazy and how to have significant breakthrough, not only spiritually, but physically, financially, and socially, and business-wise. And so I'm excited to see you at First Steps to Success. It's Coming up January 17th through the 19th, get yourself registered today, 888-757-8880. There's a seat with your name on it, friend, 888-757-8880.